Irving police believe an armed and dangerous fugitive may already be out of the country. He's wanted for murdering a 24-year-old man at an Irving home just over the weekend. The victim's family tells us the shooting followed threats made after the suspect was kicked out of an apartment on their property. Fox Force David Centendry is in Irving tonight with more on the story. David. Yeah, Irving Police Department has been blasting this suspect's photo across social media in hopes that someone with information comes forward because the suspect is on the run. The issue tonight is that investigators believe he's in Mexico. I don't wish this upon anybody's family. This is the worst nightmare ever. A 17-year-old who does not want us to show her face recalls hearing her brother, 24-year-old Abel Martinez, being shot to death in their driveway at a home near Loop 12 and Irving Boulevard Sunday. He was a great brother. She first heard four gunshots. I stood by my door and I waited and then they started shooting again. So I waited until I heard them leave. Eventually, she went outside and discovered her brother's body. I went inside and I started screaming at my uncle. I was like, Abel's dead, Abel's dead. Call the ambulance, I need help. I started screaming for help and stuff. The Irving Police Department says Eric Nathaniel Amador Godoy is the suspect. The 32-year-old was driving a dark gray Toyota Corolla with stickers on the back window, the trunk, and headlights. Investigators now believe he fled to Mexico. The victim's sister tells Fox 4 Amador Godoy and some of his family members lived in a two-bedroom apartment on the back of her family's property. She says they were kicked out last month. So there were young adults all living together yeah. on your property yeah. and your grandparents kicked them out because they weren't paying rent? Yeah, they weren't being responsible. The 17-year-old says Amador Godoy and others retaliated for getting kicked out, making threats and damaging property. She never thought the dispute would lead to her brother's murder. If they see them or know anything about them, to please let us know because this is not fair. We just want justice to be served. I asked Irving PD if they are searching for any other suspects, specifically any family members of the suspect we already talked about, but they said that's part of the ongoing investigation. I also asked for a breakdown of how they are going to work to get assistance from the other side of the border if that suspect is, in fact, in Mexico, still waiting for a response on that one. Steve, Heather, back to you all. All right. David Centenary and Irving, thanks, David.